Okay, so bashing through um, you know, a version of a rig for games and okay, so I got the controllers in there and I got the you know the models uh, basically cleaned up um, and so now I'll just start in with switching to my animation shelf uh, just so you can see the tools maybe a little bit easier um, with what I'm doing and um, let's see okay so I'm just gonna uh, X snap these guys one two um, three and four okay and so check it in the side view pretty happy with that and remember you don't want uh, to have any rotations in your joints before it is time to um, uh, start animating so while we're rigging, no rotations, only translations. All right, so just popping over to the, um, popping open the hypergraph so you can see what I'm doing under the hood. And da da da, la da 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 da. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab joint number two there, and we're just gonna do a skeleton reroute skeleton, and call this. Oh, let's see, that would be root underscore uh, and then uh, CRTL um, and uh, CRTL chunk. Okay, so this is going to be my control rig and um, I guess it's alright, fine, it's T T R. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, and so just to save myself some time on that, I'll just copy that. And so the, this guy here is going to be the chest. And oops, come on, get back here. And B. And this guy is going to be the head, obviously. Head. And oops. And <laughs> B. And I probably should make sure that's capitalized, but. All right, foot and B. Okay, so now those guys are placed, and I'm just going to check the um, joint orientation on the top guy. All right, so he's off to the side for his X, and so I just pop over to here and rotate this around. Oops. Turn on my snapping. Okay, 15 degrees sounds good. Okay, so that snaps that around. All right, uh, it's now discrete rotate. Oh, I gotta lo love how they change things on me. Okay, great. So, so there, we're off to a good start. We need to do one for the shield. Um, and so I'll just toss in a quick joint here. Let's see, get back to objects mode. And, and about there. All right, figure out the placement of that. All right, maybe a little forward about there. And that should do me. Okay, so shield and paste that suffix in there. Great. Parent that into our friend the chest. Chunk. Okay, great. Okay, so now figuring out our shoulder on the other side. So looking in the side view, I will draw out the shoulder and let's say X and X and three joints. All right, not happy with that placement, but I wanted to make it a little bit extra long, so I'm just going to tweak that over like so and make sure I get this the way I want it. I am not changing it in the Z axis. I'm, I'm keeping it perfectly parallel. All right, so when I say perfectly par parallel, I don't mean close, I mean perfect. All right, so, yep, being very careful which dimensions I move this guy in. And so I'm going to want his rotation there. I will check that over here in my side view. Zip, zip, zip. Uh, great. Okay, so then obviously we have to label that. So shoulder, um, control, next one, elbow and control and the bottom guy is the wrist wrist okay 
and I just paste that in. Yippee! And of course, I'd do it L and F, uh, L and R, uh, if I was doing the two sides. Okay, so all right, one more joint, and so this will be for the sword, and so I'll just toss that there. Good, move that into position. Check it in the top view. Zip like that, and uh, yeah, I'll probably. Okay, so weapon control joint is the name on that guy, so that I'm pretty darn happy with. Okay, so I hit the save button because I'm pretty darn happy. Um, Alrighty, well then again, I'm always happy when I'm rigging. Um, so, da -da. all right, yeah, we'll cheek that in a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna use a put in the IK solver, double check to make sure I'm set to rotate plane. Good, and all right, so I toss that in there, and so this is going to be, you know, hand IK solver, uh, you know, something like that. Okay, cool. And so now, once I have that in place, I can um, move the hand over to where it needs to be, and I can tweak the shoulder a little bit, and then get the the hand back there. So I use the rig to position it, and I think uh, I still didn't make that elbow as long as I should have. Okay, so it should be back there, you know. So in reality, I would go and fix that, but you don't need to watch me do that. So uh, we've hit the educational value on that. All right, so let's uh, parent that into the chest, and we'll just set up the IK. Um, the pull vector. So I have my pull vector out there behind the elbow. Grab the IK, run the pull vector constraint, and da, 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 there we go. So a bit better. Maybe maybe I can get the elbow a little bit better if I cheat that back. Yeah, all right. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get. All right. So there we have our handy dandy control rig all set up and ready to go. Um, I probably should have checked those uh, joints before I um, put the IK on. Too late now. Um, anyhow, you know, I'm bound to miss something when I'm rush rushing like this. Okay, so I'm going to take this whole rig and I'm going to duplicate it. So let's just watch that in the hypergraph. And I'm going to grab the weapons uh, as well. So that's sort of hanging out there. So I'm just going to duplicate that grab all now before I do anything I'm just going to do a um, search and replace names and I'm going to search for that CTRL uh, T and, RL, and replace it with skin okay replace great that does that for me I just chop off that uh, extra effector like so um, oops I forgot the A in that again alright so fix that there Fix that there. Okay. Uh, w E. There we go. All right. So that's all dealt with. Okay. So I'm gonna toss the skin into um, uh, skin layer. L A Y E R. There we go. Or actually D L to make it easy. See how I am, I avoid typing and spelling as much as I can. So. Uh, all right, and add. So always play to your strengths. Uh, let's see. And so this is uh, control um, uh, T T R L um, space D L. Okay, so that's the the D uh, control layer sorted out as well. Fantastic. Okay, so. At this point, we can we can take the um, uh, this, turn off the control rig, show up just the skin rig, and I'm going to select the geometry and let's pop to the hypergraph. Okay, so I'm going to pop through here and oops, oh yes, yes, all right, yeah, this one, this one we can take a bit slower. We'll just I can do the uh, shield 
with the um, uh, shield skin joint and select the shield go to skin find skin check the option box for it selected joints my favorite option interactive and good so bam that guy is done and so we go over here we grab the weapon skin we grab the uh, in this case the sword I hit the G button and I am done with that oh yes okay so we go we grab the foot I grab the wrist the elbow the shoulder the head and the root and I just um, grab the main body there and go back to bind skin smooth bind it's on all on there okay so of course you want to do a little testing of things to make sure it's done it correctly okay so I'm gonna turn on uh, shading put it back to de default shading so I can paint my weights now when I bring up the option box the fact that I have labeled everything makes my life nice and happy and so I bop through here and there we go and so just bopping around and so this you know on something like this will take about you know an hour or something to do it properly uh, you don't need to sit here and watch me uh, do the whole thing and so ta -da. you know the important thing is you make sure that you're set to interactive you figure out your brush and um, I like to have my brush set to add and then I add in like 50% uh, and it takes a little bit longer but over the course of the whole job it means that I, there are less mistakes for me to go and fix so it does save me time as I go alright so, you know, so but I do have to paint over a few few times all right, and so that's you know basically it uh, for that technique. And yeah, so moving on. Okay, so a few more hours of that. The sh um, okay, so let's uh, grab our um, anim controls and start um, getting those snapped into place. So for like this guy, V snap it into place there, and so that's pretty darn happy. Um, grab this guy. I wonder if I can quickly rebuild him. I I just don't like him. So surfaces, edit curves, rebuild uh, curve, and yeah, let's try it with 14. Okay, yeah, looks a little better now. Okay, <laughs> so let's see. We'll take this guy's pivot point and snap it to the pivot point of the wrist. So that's good. We take this guy's pivot point, D, so I hold down D and V and I snap that to the weapons. Okay, so that's, the snapping is critical because it has to be accurate. It has to be perfect. Okay, and the computer loves doing things perfectly. Getting it to do things vaguely is actually the hard part. Um, yeah, okay, so, and let's see, V and this guy, okay. And yeah, he's pretty much in there. Okay, so those guys are all set. Now we just do a little bit of parenting. So I have, here's my master anim at the base. Um, I also have a cog. Okay, and I could snap that cog. Let's say V, V snap that up here. And okay, and let's just pop to component mode. And when I put it near the top, I sort of like to have it like that. Okay, so more on that in a few. Okay, so the uh, the cog will get parented. Notice I didn't say parent constraint. All right, so it's just a straight parent, P on the keyboard, and you lowercase p, um, and so that cog gets parented under there. All right, I then can take the uh, base anim. I'll put that under there as well. Okay, so in, instead of just putting everything directly to the master anim here, I'm just putting it one level down. So I have one more pivot point there to solve problems by uh, putting things under the cog. All right, so that's the, the foot anim down there, and this file is called, called the base, whatever. Um, okay, so that gets parented under there. I grab the 
uh, the root. I parent that guy uh, down there. I do uh, the chest anim. I parent to the root, so that goes under that. The shield should probably go with the chest anim. And, uh, you know, where do I put this guy? Hmm, good question. All right, so lots of good, good answers. P a lot of it's personal style of how you want to do stuff. Do you want to put it under the root anim there so it moves around with the waist? Um, or do you want to just have it free form in the world? I'll put it under the root anim for this particular one. All right, and then, then I take the uh, chest anim. Should I do the head under the chest? It means a lot of counter animation, so I'm going to put the ch uh, head animation under the root. So it's going to move with the um, with the whole uh, torso, but the ch the chest is going to move independently. Oops, and that pole vector. Okay, so we grab our pole vector. That I will also put underneath the chest anim. Okay, so there's lots of right ways to do it, and that's where it can get a bit confusing and a bit hard because uh, you don't know which things are. Car uh, you know, cast in stone, thou shalt always, and what things, you know, you have some freedom for. Okay, so like this guy, I will put him, um, I guess, I guess he can go under the cog as well. Alright, so the cog is just an extra pivot point. In case I wanted to flip the character all the way over, I have that central place I can do it. Okay, um, all right, so I think the parenting's done. So great, and so I hit save. Oops, we got to we got to do the freeze uh, transformation. So I'm just going to grab all of them, modify, freeze, transform, job done. All right, so fantastic. And oops, it looks like this guy got screwed up somehow. Hmm, interesting. Okay. <laughs> He's there, he's there. That's parented under here. Yep, okay. Yeah. All right, so on the CVs, I will move him back up to where I want him to be. I think that's going to be okay. Oh, I guess I can always edit the video. I'm trying not to do that. Uh, okay, so great. So that's all, you know, it's all groovy and right where it needs to be. So now I'm going to connect up the control rig to the anims, and then the uh, I connect up the skin rig to the controls, and you know we're we're happy puppies. Okay, so let's see. Target object first, controlled object second. So I'm gonna grab the anims first, the joint second. So the shield uh, anim to the shield. Oops, that's the skin. Okay, so switching over my layers. <laughs> See how it's really handy just to have them in different layers? Okay, so now I'm in the con I have the control layer up, and so it's just shield anim. I select the uh, shield control, and then I'll just do our favorite little parent constraint. Okay, chunk. Yippee! Okay. We'll pop over here, and we'll just, on this side, take that IK handle, and we'll just do a parent, P on the keyboard, okay, so j not a parent constraint, parent it to the hand anim, and so that's all happy and working. Okay, so back to doing our constraints, and so that's the head anim and the head uh, control, and I do my uh, parent constraint. And you guessed it, we go down there to the chest. Yippee! We grab the um, root control, and we also do the base, which goes to the foot control. See, one little screw up in the naming, and I got issues, and okay, and that's good, and I have screwed up some sort of parenting somewhere. <laughs> Modify. All right, checking. What did I do wrong? Okay, so these guys, these guys are there. Uh, okay. Okay, so I somehow. All right, 
this guy. Okay, so these guys got out from under the cog at some point. Alright, so get that back under there. So as you see, it's it can be fairly forgiving to a point. Alright, and so that's good. This guy was under there. P. Alrighty. Da 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 da. Okay. And <laughs> put that under the cog. And yeah, there we go. And let's see. Da, da, yep. And constrain parent. Okay. So I might have been using the G key with it set the wrong way. Okay, and so it's just it was actually doing parenting rather than parenting constraining. And this is why we have to test everything that we do to make sure that it's behaving the way we expect it to. So constrain, parent constrain. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably where where we saw that freak out. Okay, so that's working. That's working. And so you just test every step of the process. Okay, so now the whole thing is going. Fantastic. All right. So where did I put that guy? Hmm. All right. That. I'm going to take that out of the cog, and I'll just put that under the master, which is just allows me to get it to wherever it needs to go in the world before I start animating. Okay, so let's see. Good, everyone's still zeroed. Okay, so fantastic. So now I turn on the skin rig and I bop over here. And so I now just do my controls. And um, in my controls, I do, um, uh, I just do parent, con uh, parent constraints between the skins and the, the roots. Uh, all right, that's right, the skins and the control. So the control first, skin second, and parent constraint. And, okay. And very straightforward, matching up the names. So just keeping organized um, is really important. And then then your life gets easier. Okay, so those guys were all set up and save. So now I can turn off the skin rig again and if I grab that IK, as you see, it moves the uh, the hand um, yeah. The, the anim controls the, uh, in this case, the IK handle. The IK handle modifies the control rig. The control rig modifies the uh, skin rig and the skin rig modifies the geometry. Whew. Yes, the first time I saw this I thought it was nuts too. <laughs> okay, so um, you know, with all that working we hit the save button. We then pop over and we gotta uh, figure out our, um, our sword. Okay, so the sword it is, you know, it's fine, it's moving around there, but we want to sometimes uh, follow the hand and sometimes uh, follow the sword. So we do the, I'm going to make a locator, and so it'll just be uh, weapon block. Okay, so weapon locator. <laughs> and great, so I V snap that exactly to the joint, and let's see, I will parent it under the wrist control. Great. So now we have that uh, place recorded out. I then select the sword anim. I select the um, uh, the weapon locator. And last, I grab the weapon control. And then I do our friend the parent constraint. So constrain and parent. Yippee. This gives me a, a weighting of the sword anim and the weapons lock. Okay, or the weapons locator. So now I just need to set up a controller for that. So, all right, I eh, already have some guys over here. So, um, all right, we'll just add another one onto there. So add attribute, just to cover this again. 
um, new uh, weapon. Okay. All right. Delete that. Okay. So let's see. Uh, float. That's good. Minimum zero. Maximum ten. And the default is zero. Hit add. And so that adds the new attribute. So it's that easy to do that. Then I just do my basic set driven key. So I'm in the animation menu set, animate menu item, set driven key. Okay, load that hand anim and that new weapon attribute into the dr uh, driver. And then I have to go and find that parent constraint. So I've just opened it up in the channel box, hit the down arrow on the keyboard, and so that gets it selected for me. I grab the, I go to load driven, pop it down here, turn on both of these guys, and hit key. Oops. <laughs> All right, so I probably should alter one of those guys to zero, and I hit key. So I just rewrote over it, and it's fine. Okay, so now the sword being zero, the weapon locator, I guess, uh, yeah, the weapon locator is a value of one when I have the new weapon set to zero. So I put that up to its max of 10. I go back to the parent constraint by clicking on it over there, and I just swap those values over. Okay, and so when I'm done with that, I hit key. And so at this point, when I move the hand, as you see the sword, will stay where it is and follow the sword anim. Yay! Um, and then when I'm done with this, okay, um, and I want to, yeah, um, want to switch that over, I can, I can just keyframe this. Okay, so let's, I don't know, I'm on frame zero, so we'll just do a key selected there and go to frame, I don't know, 36. Um, Six chunk, and so we set that to zero, and I set a key, key selected, and you see it now animates between those two. So that's how you can get your character to drop his weapon, and so that's it. Um, so a lot of fun. Uh, we now have a functioning rig, and does all sorts of uh, fun, happy stuff. Uh, we have this extra cog, which allows us to completely rotate the rig uh, completely over um, you know and most of the time we ignore that we have our master control that when the uh, director says all right it needs to start way over there you get it there and then you, you start moving around you start doing your your uh, stuff with the feet which evidently my skin painting on that was really bad um, but yeah so that that should do you hope that helps